Ed O'Brien, thank you so much for popping into our little marquee. Pleasure. <laughs> Headlining the first transmit tonight. Yes. And you've got a couple of hours before you go on. Yeah. How, how are you feeling? You all, you all seem very relaxed and just smooching about. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's this is it's the, coming towards the end of five weeks okay. touring, and I think we've got the hang of it. <laughs> 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 so. Um, yeah, it feels relaxed. I mean, everything after Glastonbury is quite relaxed. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. Pressures off. Pressures off, but it's it's different because Glasgow is always Friday night in Glasgow. <laughs> it's a big night. What are your what's your history with Scottish fans? Because you played here te about ten years ago. Yeah, Glasgow Green. So we played our first big headliner was Tea in the Park '96. <sighs> whilst we were recording OK Computer. Wow. So that was a really big moment for us to be sort of taken in, you know, because we weren't doing that in England. Yeah. We did a, that summer we did a big show in Ireland and, and this one, so we were sort of taken in by the Celts. Yeah. And um, so we came here, Glasgow Green, about nine years ago, yeah. did our own show. And shamefully, we haven't been back since then, but we well are aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to redeem ourselves. Oh, I've seen the I set so. list and it's, <laughs> okay. it's incredible. Okay, good. And, and lovely to come and celebrate 20 years of OK Computer with the yeah. Scottish fans as yeah, well. Yeah, it feels, it feel, I, it's funny, I always say, we, we always get, you always get asked, and I'm not just saying this because it's a Scottish festival, but you always get asked, hey, where are the best fans in the world? And there are two places, that, not the best, but the, 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 the liveliest, and it's Scotland and it's Argentina. And the two are very, very similar. There's a real kind of, there's a go for it. So it feels, it's just, you know, we're so privileged to be doing this, you know? And so um, we'll see what happens. I was thinking about Scotland versus Argentina now yeah. in a football match. That would be pretty spectacular fan base. I, well. well, as a kid, the 78 <laughs> World Cup in Argentina, there was no England team. I supported Scotland. I was 10 years Good old. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yes. And in fact, my first single I ever bought was Ali's Tartan Army. No, it wasn't. We're Straight on the March up. for Ali's Army. Yeah, that We're on Ali our way McLeod. to Argentina yeah. and we'll really shake them up when, when we, we win, win the, the World, World Cup. Cup. Yeah. Amazing. That was my first single <laughs> I bought. I love that. Five weeks you've been talking about this, yeah. you know, these incredible shows you've been doing. What's What happens after? So we after tonight? do one more show, mm -hmm. a very uh, low-key, uncontentious gig in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then that's it. That's it. We will hang up our, whatever you, our Radiohead guitars. guitars. <laughs> yeah. And it, we've been doing this now for three years, so it's time everyone's yeah. going to go off and do their own thing for a bit. But then more to come obviously at some yeah point. there's i think there's a little tour planned for next year but it's basically it's it's downtime amazing yeah thank you so much for coming in and chatting to me i really really appreciate it thank and you um, for having us i cannot wait to see the show today as can't fifty thousand fans out Great. there thanks Ed. Cheers. thanks Edith. thank cheers. you cheers